When most people picture Mars, they imagine a cold, dry world with nothing happening on the surface. A planet that froze in time billions of years ago. But here's the truth. Mars is not geologically dead. In fact, it's far more active than people realize. And the evidence is sitting right on the surface. Recorded by landers, orbiters, and even small avalanches happening today. If you enjoy myth-busting space geology, make sure you're subscribed. Now, let's explore the real story behind Mars's so-called dead surface. Early Mars missions painted the planet as a fossil world. The giant volcanoes weren't erupting, the rivers were dry, craters were preserved for billions of years. Compared to Earth's constantly recycled surface, Mars looked quiet, almost frozen. And for a long time, the phrase geologically dead became the default description. But newer missions, especially in the past two decades, have completely changed that picture. In 2018, NASA's InSight lander touched down on Mars with one main goal. Listen. And what it heard surprised everyone. Mars quakes. Hundreds of them. These quakes come from faults adjusting, rock layers shifting, and the crust cooling and contracting. One of the strongest, a magnitude 4.7 event, wasn't caused by an impact. It came from tectonic stress inside the planet. This tells us Mars still has internal energy. It's quiet, but it's not motionless. Mars is constantly reshaping its surface through processes we can watch in real time. HiRISE, the high-resolution camera orbiting Mars, routinely captures dust devils twisting across the ground. Some are more than a kilometre tall. Even more interesting are slope streaks, dark markings that appear, grow, fade, and reappear over months and years. They are likely caused by dry, cascading dust, almost like slow motion avalanches. We've also seen cliffs collapsing, dunes migrating, and seasonal ice breaking apart. These processes aren't ancient, they're happening today. Mars has two types of ice, water ice and carbon dioxide ice, and both are active. Every winter, the atmosphere freezes out onto the surface as a layer of carbon dioxide frost. When sunlight returns, that frost sublimates, turning directly from a solid to a gas. This rapid transformation can crack surfaces, launch dust plumes, and even carve out strange branching channels near the poles known as spiders. It's not volcanic activity, but it is still geology. Mars's polar regions expand, contract, fracture, and reshape themselves with every Martian year. And one of the biggest misconceptions about Mars is that its volcanoes haven't erupted in billions of years. But several studies suggest that some volcanic regions may be much younger than we initially thought. There are places where the surface looks geologically fresh, with lava flows that may be less than a few million years old. Some research even hints at eruptions within the past 50,000 years. That's yesterday in geological time. And these regions line up with where many Mars quakes originate today. It's not proof of ongoing eruptions, but it strongly suggests that Mars still has pockets of heat, and maybe even magma beneath the surface. Mars is smaller than Earth, so it cools faster. But it hasn't cooled completely. The presence of Mars quakes, the lack of total crustal rigidity, and the magnetic anomalies locked in the crust all point to a planet that still retains internal heat. InSight's heat flow data also suggests that the interior is warmer than we expected. Enough to drive crustal stress. Enough to create quakes. And maybe even enough to support limited volcanic or geothermal activity even today. Mars isn't dead, it's just different. 
Earth has plate tectonics, active hydrothermal systems, and a thicker atmosphere that drives intense erosion. Mars lacks those features, so change happens more slowly and more subtly. Its geology is real. It's just quieter and more isolated across a mostly dry surface. So is Mars geologically dead? Not even close. It quakes, it shifts, it collapses, sublimates, and reshapes itself season after season. It may not host giant eruptions or active tectonic plates, but the planet is still evolving. Still moving. And still alive in its own way. If you enjoy exploring the geology of other worlds, make sure you're subscribed. There is so much more to uncover in our solar system. See you in the next one.